Hello and welcome to Note to Nine. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Episode number 14, Repeats Repeated. If you believe in it, repeat it. Okay, today we're going to talk about next page to tip and demo. Um, and this came from the Notes Forum. Um, uh, Judy Kilpinen and, uh, had a couple questions on using an X page and multi-value fields. And, and there's some formatting questions which, which I didn't address, but uh, I think the answer lies in using a repeat control. So I responded there, and I figured I'd respond here as well. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to talk uh, briefly about a little public service announcement from uh, Bears on Patrol. Uh, making tough situations bearable. This is an organization um, run by Blake Robb, and it's a full nonprofit. Filed all the paperwork and dotted all the I's and crossed the T's and all that good stuff. And what they do is they provide bears to police departments uh, to use uh, for children in in tough situations. So if, uh, the police come, they they've got some bears in their trunk, and if there's little kids involved, they they can give a a bear to a child to have and hold on to and get through get through it and um, the philadelphia police department has asked for a thousand bears which is a huge order for this organization that's really just getting started out out with and they've raised uh, about seventeen hundred dollars of their seven thousand dollar goal needed to provide those bears so you know i've got a soft spot for children uh, hopefully you do too if you've got any inclination of, of a for contributing to a good cause uh, this is it. I, I've met this person. Uh, I met him at uh, a conference that my wife went at to a, an awards and engraving conference. Uh, she's she's in the business as is this gentleman, and uh, he's a young guy with boundless energy, and uh, and this is a, a a good organization. So anyway, if you're inclined, bears on patrol. Okay, repeat controls. Um, well, repeat controls are obviously the, a key uh, new feature of X Pages, and you can repeat almost any kind of list-based item. Uh, obviously, views and collections are what's what's been the most examples. Uh, JSON uh, is another example, which quite honestly I'd like to see some of, um, of a list-based item. JavaScript arrays and vectors, or Java vectors, I guess, uh, may be a little more accurate. And of course, the multi-value field, which is what I want to talk about today. So, how do we? What do we do with a multi-value field? Well, we've got document get item value field name, and what does that return? That returns a Java vector, which is basically an array, and because it's a vector or array, you can repeat it. Any list based item that's the beauty of it so let's go to the demo okay so here we have an X page that's showing a couple companies on here uh, from a view control so nothing too fancy but if we click on one of these documents we see websites and here are two websites let's look at another one here's uh, like five websites okay so what is this this is a multi-value field that's being repeated okay and it just you know it's unique for every document or so so I've got a repeat control on here that's showing the whatever values is in that field is um, is gonna gonna display so how does that work well the form is F company and it's just a standard form and website is the name of the field and it says allow multi values so if I come over here to X company and if I Look at the data, document one, F company. So I've bound it to that document, and I've dropped a repeat control here, and I've given it the name repeat one, and the collection name of row data, which uh, kind of common practice, I think. I'm not sure. I think Nathan Freeman started that with his uh, mutant X pages article, um, so I just kind of started using it. Anyway, so what is this repeat getting its data from? document one get item value field name which is website and what does that return that returns a java vector which uh, we saw on the slide okay so now that repeat is going to be whatever is in that multi-value field well we still have to drop a field down so here's a computed field and all i have to do is tell it in this case row data because row data is is repeating strings basically and this is basically the string so you just need this as the variable name and that's how you get 
this effect. Now, let's do one better. Let's say we want to have a repeat within a repeat. Let's say we want to have a view of our company names in this multi-value field uh, displaying for each company. Okay, well, this is a repeat within a repeat. The first repeat, oh, let's look at the data. The data is bound to the view, view companies. So basically, we've got our data bound to the main view. And here you can see this repeat, the data source is view one. And I've called this row company in this case because we're going to have two. And um, this will go through every company in that view. And now for the computed field, we use a little, we, we don't even need JavaScript for this one. Um, we just say row data. And because name is in the view, we can just basically say name. Now, this repeat is sitting inside of the first repeat. If I can click on it. And what's what are we doing here? Well, this is a little different. Now, in this case, row company is really, um, it's not really a document, it's, it's like, a, like a view entry. Um, so we're basically saying row company, then get the notes document. Now, once we have that, get the multi-value field, like we've seen before. So now, this repeat two, which has a collection name of row website, is going through the multi-value field. So this repeat's going through documents, this repeat's going through the multi-value field. And then we drop another computed form on and basically do row website like we did be before. And now if we look at what that looks like, here we have it. We've got you know the company name and then the the websites from their multi-value field, company name, websites, company, you know, etc. You get the point. And that's how uh, you can do and, and work with repeats that aren't necessarily collections or, or views uh, and be using a multi-value field. And that's our demo. Okay, if you want to know anything more about me, here's my contact information. And uh, I thank you very much for uh, watching.